Good morning guys and girls and welcome to another daily edition of me and Mr. Bluebeam. And there's the star of the show. Say hey boo. Say hey everyone. Don't look very impressed does he? Come on then. We haven't been down this track for a bit. I thought we'd uh, do a daily dog walk and go a little bit further. I've not actually been well to be truthful people. I've been poorly all week. I'm not quite a hundred percent, but what can you do? I'm taking the medication, but that's given me complications and giving me other problems. And then obviously sometimes them problems are worse than the problems you're taking the medication for. It's a balancing act, trying to get it right. So yeah, been struggling on. I'm gonna have a moan though, so you know I'm getting better. There's a property a few doors down from ours and they're doing some renovations. I get it, I get it. Everyone has to do renovations, but they're using a brick saw, a bloody brick saw. And luckily my car's parked round the back, but it hasn't come unscathed basically. It is covered in shit. It is absolutely covered in brick dust. Now we've got a brick saw and our bricks are, you can attach a hose. And that hose keeps the dust down. Bloody marvellous that, isn't it? And guess what? These haven't got one with a hose. So yeah, it has really made a mess of my car. So I'm gonna have to get the old leaf blower out and try and get it off. But my navy car now looks like it's got a red roof. Look like I'm off bloody racing. Like I'm at the back of the grid. I've been nominated as one of the top drivers because that's what a red roof used to be when my dad used to race cars and it's just like every time i get a new car if you look back on my video clips same prats did it again they had a bonfire and they put all the burnt leaves and shit fell on my car and i'd only had that one a matter of weeks and they say same things happen again so guys, come on, be thoughtful of your neighbours because do you know what? I pay and get my car washed and then I detail it every week. I'm not impressed. Rant over. Yeah, I'm just going to share this. Look at all this crap and litter. What's just been dumped at the side of the road. I mean, come on people. Blue, get out of there. It's, it's dangerous for wildlife. And the thing is, half the time, with the bigger items, they've had to drive here to take the crap, to dump it. I mean, look, there's a McDonald's there with a receipt in. We could easily track him down. You know, a seat cover. What's all that about? A tyre. Just take him to the bloody tip. Just take your shit to the tip. Because look, they just come under here. They've had to paint all the graffiti off the wall again. Park up. I mean, there was a fence across here to stop them parking on here. But they smashed it down. Absolutely ridiculous. It's like... I haven't got there anywhere else where they can park up. Look, if you see, there was these plastic posts. They've all been smashed out. All been smashed out, look. Bloody ridiculous. Stand still, look. Here as well, look. They've all been smashed out. It was all along there too. They've all been smashed out. And I tell you what, people have been nicking the rock from the footings. I mean, you just can't have anything, can you? I'll tell you this as well. My five-year-old niece has even started shout out Arrow um, litter picking on the way to school. Five years old, worried about the environment picking up everyone's crap what they've chucked out the car on the way to school i mean god we wouldn't think of things like that when we was at school i was just worried about trying to catch the bus before it left things like that i, I wouldn't have thought of going litter picking but yeah it just shows you doesn't it how the world has changed maybe sometimes not for the better you all right darling you're blowing a bit you're blowing a bit hey you're not camera shy. We know you're not camera shy, don't we? Hey. I've also, changing subjects, 
I've got um, a Valentine's special as well for you as well. On Tuesday, I'll be releasing that one. We've obviously done it before, the actual day, but Valentine's Day is on a Tuesday, so if you're going to do anything, you do it the weekend before, don't you? So yeah, watch out for that, guys. So, on that bombshell, me and Mr. Bluebean are going to love you and leave you. That doesn't half stink. I wish you could smell it. See you all in the next one. Bye for now.